Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to share today actually a requested video that was requested from Rebecca. Thank you so much for asking me and coming to me with this question. I am honored and excited to actually try to explain um, how I use different keys in my Bible. I can't say I only stick to one key and you can find uh, like hundreds and hundreds of keys if you go on Pinterest and type up Bible keys and or study Bible keys and you will just be overloaded with color coding um, symbols on what to use for what and I don't use one particular one because I use a little bit of each of them and the more you use and the more you try out this technique you will start to claim different ones and then you will make it your own each every one of our studies is personal for our own walk I can't say this is going to work for you I can't say it's going to work for the next person then again someone might look at this and just clam on to it and just you know really appreciate something like this so this it, it is it is your own personal walk but I highly recommend at least trying it you don't have to use as many symbols as I as I have here pick one or two to try out um, yeah but the important thing is to make it your own literally there is no right no wrong way to how you mark up your Bible how you use your Bible it is it is your walk it is your path you do with it how you see fit so with those keys they have a whole list they have um, like a little triangle you will find one with the let me show you what I use I don't print anything off um, I don't like I'm not really I don't know like I just don't print anything off I don't have a printer for one so I use and had came up because, like this is like I said all from Pinterest um, these little keys and I just wrote them out like this is again like I said from Pinterest and all these words you will find in the Bible have a symbol so this is a lot of words just to be you know filling out finding when you're reading and to remember that is what um, what got me because there's so many words and as, when you start reading it you start to think like well wait does this have a symbol and then your train of thought goes more to am I missing something am I doing something wrong am I you know that I forget something so don't that's why I stress don't get caught up into what words have what symbols and is tied into what color that <laughs> that's where a lot of people and I fear like they just they just throw their hands up in the air and like okay well this is way too complex for me to even do so I'm not even gonna get into it and which happens a lot of times so don't use big big you know ones like this if this is not for you if this is your your, your cup of tea dive into it this will be so fun and just amazing and yeah but if it's not for you don't worry about it there's everyone's Bible study can't be the same we're not made the same all right so let me put you down stop shaking you around some come up with your own keys that's my number one tip for you today come up with your own keys don't use somebody else's key because it may not work for you I have a triangle with and this is all with gel pen so some of the words are you know not coming through all the way because of my gel pen still learning I was brand new to it so I was playing around to see what I you know what worked the best color pencils work the best when it comes to this not gel pen learn that too <laughs> so um, I have triangle for God a cross with you know a full cross with the yellow for Jesus Lord is boxed in so I came up with my own baptism with water it's all little waves the names of water and I don't have like everything this is supposed to be like a lamb but you can't even tell that's a lamb that's a dove so <laughs> So just really play around with it. The tree has a symbol when there's not really, you don't need a tree symbol. So the more you do it, the more you will come and to understand, you know, if this is for you, it may not be for you. 
and don't get down. Don't get down and discourage if it's not. This is the world. Glory is just a purple cloud. Son of God is a cloud and the yellow. All right, so that's one way of using keys and applying keys. You can come up with your own. You can go on Pinterest and follow what they have for theirs. There are, there's an Arthur that actually, I don't know if she invented that inductive because what you were just looking at is the inductive Bible study. K. Arthur, I don't know if she's the one that came up with this. I've got these two books at the Goodwill. Yes, at the Goodwill. I find so many amazing, helpful tips from the, my local Goodwill store. <laughs> so this is the IBM number if you're interested. But she will break it down into, oh, like, I have not been in these books yet. I don't know anything about them. And I cannot wait. Someone else has written in this because I don't write in pen. Oh, that's just the first page. <laughs> but, um, yes. So this is, Lord, I'm torn between two masters. And this is the one where she actually breaks down. Like, it's, you can work in the actual book. So it's a workbook through each book of the Bible and she tells you and walks you how to do it again the inductive Bible study and this is discover your discover the Bible for yourself here's this IBM number my phone will hold on to it so you can look at it okay so those are the inductive ways so if you find any keys that you you may be interested in that's one way of doing it the other way I've know um, she was looking through and if you're on a sister in our um, sisters creative journey through the word Bible journaling group we have an album just for this Bible and this Bible is not in print anymore so I'm sorry I can't say Hey, go ahead and try to purchase the Bible because it's extremely hard to find. And if you do catch someone selling it, you're going to pay way too much for it. So, just just my opinion. But if you want it, it's definitely a Bible worth trying to, you know, look for. But, um, okay, what I was getting at was, um, she was, what back up? Sweetheart was asking, how do I pick scriptures to circle or verses to circle? What words to circle? to square, to underline, how do I pick that? Which is a very, very good question. And again, each of our walk is different. We're all not gonna be the same. When we read a scripture, we're not all gonna pull out the same from it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Just because I'm underlining and circling and squaring a certain words out of a scripture, doesn't mean you're gonna pull the same ones out. So just follow your heart. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help guide you to what you need to learn, what you need to pull out of that scripture. So like this one right here, the very, very first one, oops, you can't even see it. <laughs> so the very first one, I pulled out your faithfulness and your accomplishment out of this little scripture or I don't even know if this is a scripture. No, this is just what this devotion is focused on. So. And I just underline and add a little star to what spoke to me most on that day. I use different colors. So for faithfulness and for righteousness, I use blue. So when I go through and I want any kind of scripture that has faithfulness and um, righteousness, I know to look for always this blue color. And for pink, it's anything that will help me grow as a Christian. And orange is always prayer. Every scripture that has prayer in it, I mark it in orange in all of my Bibles. So you have to come up with something that works for you. Figure out what colors resonates with you more. Yes, you can go on Pinterest and find thousands of color codes. Thousands of them. Don't get confused and don't think they're right and your way is going to be wrong. Find out what works for you. Orange is prayer perfectly I love using you know my orange highlighter for prayer because it's just it it feels right to me 
and it may not be right to somebody else. They may want to use green for prayer. So it doesn't mean I'm wrong and they're right or vice versa. All right, so with the scriptures, like right here, I pulled out important little words here, and I have a square, a circle, and a heart. The heart is obvious because it's love, but there's no, I didn't have like a particular reason why I did square peace and a circle around true peace. Literally, there was no reason behind it besides that's just what my spirit felt led to do. I felt led because it was purple and was talking about the Bible, so I it was imper you know, it was it was important for me. It was like it was the spirit speaking, so I had to mark it in purple. And then true peace is for me, so it's in pink. And immediate available, again purple, God you know. So you start coming up with your own, what feels right to you. Out of this part down here, grounded in circumstances that felt important to me grounded with his grace felt important so I, I made it stand out when I come back to look at it on what was important and why it was important you may read this and think the word peace is important God's peace is important and that's it you may not think or you know feel any anything else that I had chosen was right not like that it was right but it was you know important to you so I hope I'm making sense on what, why it's really important not to follow anybody else's keys, but your own. Come up with your own. Do what feels right to you. Right here, difficult circumstances. I added a pink line because we all go through difficult circumstances with sin. And I added pink dots. There's no reasoning behind it besides that's what I was led, I felt led to do. So I hope... This is, you know, it's sinking in and kind of, you know, making sense. That's what I always fear when I come to making these videos because I just, I, I never know. I never know. And that's why I've never made this video because I didn't, I don't want people thinking that how I'm explaining this is the right way, the wrong way, the only way. I'm just trying to express, use and make it you. Do whatever feels right to you. If you don't want any symbols like this in your Bible, completely fine. Color code it. Make it to where it's nothing but different colors. All the words, or if you see something like through here, and it talks about faith. Say these blessings are faith. Come through and color faith. Or, you know, color blue. If I could get that out right. <sighs> so, if you're reading a scripture... And how, I'll just use what the word here instead of changing the word, is blessing. I like blue for blessing, for faith, for righteousness, for all of those gifts. I like them in blue. So instead of marking a blue box, use the blue highlighter. Use a blue color pencil and just color it in. That's another way. So you're not, so you're not stressing out like, or feeling that you're marking in a certain color or a symbol the wrong way you may not be able to use symbols the same with this i just used whatever words i wanted to pop out differently i marked them differently if that makes sense so right here we let's see so he is the shield there is a purple a purple square or yeah a purple square and he is glory you know I don't want to tongue twist myself. That's exactly what's happening. That's what's not want to happen. <laughs> so I write down important little notes for myself. Added little stars to what is important to me in these scriptures. So bottom line to doing any kind of studies in any kind of Bibles. Whether you want to color code. Whether you want to add symbols. Whether you just want to take notes. Make everything take a little bit from every kind of study out there that you can find and personalize it to you this is your walk there is no one there to judge you there is no one there to say like oh well why did you add a circle to that or why did you add a heart to that i would have put a triangle there no one's going to ever do that to you and if they do do that to you they're judging you on for the wrong reasons and there's something inside of them so don't fear you're going to do something wrong because it, it's impossible. 
This is your walk. You focus on your walk. Everyone else is busy doing their own. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut it off here. I will talk to you all later. Love you.